This is a case that you will encounter as a bit of a common set piece for chest fibres. This is a case, as you can see, of a pemithorax wideout. Now these seem simple on the surface, but there's a lot of extra information that I think can be gained from working through these um, images, and in, especially in terms of getting the CT up and being able to come down on a nice, clean diagnosis, and being able to wrap up the case quickly. So let's say that this is a 65-year-old female patient who presents with shortness of breath and cough. For the purposes of this case, she doesn't have any previous imaging. She um, has not presented to your practice before, and we don't have anything to compare to. Let's also consider that she doesn't have a history of asthma, so that the underlying cause isn't going to be something like a mucus plug. So having a look at the films, we can think about Mass Effect, where the textbooks tell us to do first. So we look to see if the mediastinum has shifted away from the opacified hemithorax to suggest that there's something causing volume, such as a large pleural effusion whether the mediastinum is in the midline, or whether the mediastinum is shifted towards the side of the whiteout, suggesting that this is um, purely from collapse. This mediastinum, it's pretty midline, perhaps shifted slightly away. So I think we can infer based on this that there is a component of pleural fluid or some kind of mass which is taking up space. We look at the lateral projection, which we've got up here as well, and we can see that there is no right hemidiaphragm or right costophrenic margin suggesting that these are opacified secondary to pleural fluid. I don't think this is what all that's going on here though, because if you look, and if we take the cursor and have a look at the right main bronchus, you can see that it's abruptly cut off. There's no abronchograms flowing out. It just looks like something has stopped it dead here, or even perhaps tapered it in. So at this point, in a patient of this age group being 65, our main diagnosis of exclusion, particularly in a patient from the community, is going to be that of a malignancy you know at this point that you need to get the CT up, but you can do some quick checks before you go up to demonstrate your knowledge. Have a look around at the bones, there's no rib erosion, there's no vertebral body loss of height to suggest pathological fracture. The left lung appears clear, perhaps some mildly increased interstitial markings, perhaps there's some kind of congestion going on secondary to the mass effect on the right, but there's no pulmonary masses. So let's give this case a go. This is a 65-year-old female patient who presents with shortness of breath and cough. We have PA and lateral chest radiographs. There is wide out of the right hemithorax with loss of the right hemidiaphragm suggesting that there is a pleural effusion. The mediastinum is roughly midline and I suspect that there may be an underlying mass and pleural effusion contributing to this appearance. There is abrupt cutoff and tapering of the proximal right main bronchus, raising suspicion for an underlying compressive or obstructing lesion at this point. The left lung is clear, the left hilum is not enlarged, and the bones appear within normal limits with no aggressive lesions identified on these views. Given these imaging features in a patient of this age and presentation, I'm concerned for a centrally obstructing neoplasm, particularly a primary lung cancer. I would recommend contrast CT of the chest for further characterization, and given the concerning nature of these findings, this would warrant discussion with the treating team.